Well, hello everybody. Last time on this video, we got attacked by bandits and they burned down my freaking well, brick maker. But we started to shape this epic build that we have. We built out the first design for the clay houses, clay brick houses. We're going to work on getting the rest of this design hashed out, at least getting the wooden perimeter so we can get kind of an outline for how we're going to build this awesome moat. So we're diving back in right now. So we, uh, got out our massive wall storage area things are looking pretty good i am hoping by walling in all the areas that we are looking at that we'll be able to build a better defensive area now in the last video i did the designing so we know that the walls are going to start here so we can easily start pulling all the walls in and it's going to be pretty easy for us to do everything else we also got eleonora in the last video so we have a fourth person and that was the raid that came to take her, but we easily vanquished them. Got some good loot, got another longbow. It was pretty, it was pretty beneficial for all of us. And we're gonna speed this up and get this going. We have a lot of trees to cut. We put a little bit of an orchard over here. Or not really orchard, sorry. But we started growing trees over here. Uh, we are actually running pretty low on food. We, there is an urgent haul button now in the game that wasn't there before. So if we do get foods and stuff like that, that's pretty cool. Actually, just noticed that. Uh, that's really, really cool. Because, yeah, you can see there's a lot. We're going to be eventually be training goats. And now that we built our pyre, we can burn the bodies of the raiders um, forever. No, all the bodies. Uh, we're not going to bury them. They, uh, they're just going to be burned. Everything burns. All right. So we're going to just start making clay as you know often as we can. We can make 50 at a time. I am going to... Streamline this process. Uh, production. So what we're going to be doing is building the original layer of the wall out of wood. And then on the outside, placing stone. So it's going to be double layered. But this will allow us to like make the bulk of our building in wood and then reinforce it with stone. So we'll get that cool uh, visual appeal and be able to build our defenses out much earlier than we would the other way. However, the main area, this is going to be the hard part. And what I'm going to need to do is actually get the border done before I even start looking at the main area. Um, the main area is going to be a crafting area. We're going to have storage underground. We're going to have storage uh, like weapons and everything stored above ground probably. And we're going to dig a little bit down to put food so that it's cool and then it lasts longer. And that's going to be the cellar. And that will be done at a later point in the video. So we got lots to do. Lots of good stuff to do. So we're going to speed this up as I said. But uh, we planted some cabbage. And I will go into this just again, just to make sure when you're looking, there's different phases. So if you, you can grow it and yield it to get cabbage and seed, or you can wait till it's ripe, get nine cabbage and one seed, or flowering is two cabbage seeds and five cabbage. We're doing this because we need to build up our seeds. But yeah, I'm basically doing my farming in between these areas. I think it looks cool and it gives a place for it. Nice, we got bones. We have nothing to do with bones, so we can't burn them now. I don't think we could burn the bones, can we? No, we should have We should have uh, prioritized immediately burning those. Uh, the bones are kind of annoying. All right, cool, so we are getting some clay. I'm just gonna keep having her prioritize this production. We mined some coal and we have tons of clay. I mean, it's it's everywhere around here. Clay is actually relatively easy to to do. Um, and it looks pretty pretty awesome. So but this is gonna take a bit. And so far everything's working out pretty well. Uh, we just I'd honestly would really like to have another person. I know I'm getting greedy. I just want a whole village. Uh, but the more people we have, the easier a lot of this stuff would be. Those are the trees that we just planted. And primarily, we have just too many sticks, too many logs out in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, I wish I wish there was a better use for sticks. There really isn't. Except for uh, fuel and the campfire over there. Eggs. That was a big... Cool. Look at that. We've got berries out the wazoo. Oh, they destroyed my... um. My campfire, too. Those jerks. All right, we're gonna see if 
Okay, so this is built, and I think I built it upside down. So, no, it's right. Okay, cool. So we're going to make sure that they have certain hats. We want to make sure that they have clothing. Um, if you run out of clothing, like in any other game, you freeze to death. And the animals are always hungry. Summer clothes, winter clothes, I really like... They really make it simple for you. They're like this. Summer clothes. Winter clothes. The clothes you cry in the shower in. Just clothes for all occasion. Alright, cool. So we can see that the clay bricks. <laughs> I like I get I like how I go from super not serious to super serious. Um eight hundred of eight hundred hit points. Versus 200 of 200 hit points in the wooden wall. So this clay. Man. So you can see the thermal insulation of clay is 0.85. And the thermal insulation of wood walls is 0.8. Um, if I could attach to woodwork, uh, earthworking, then I could see what that is. But people are saying that this has some of the better in insulation. It's also, like I said, very strong. Bricks are very strong. So we're going to build our houses out of them. And that's perfect because you want a high thermal insulation because there are winters and there is temperatures in this game. And it can also get hot. So we can um, keep it cool this way. All parties involved. And this is going to pr probably be a cra I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. It's going to be maybe a church. Maybe a church and something else. We do, like I said, I do actually want to get the outline of the base done so that we can start working on the center. So in order to do that, I have to get the wooden walls out. Okay. So remember, for the design, this stuff goes out one, two, three. Um... I'm just going to do a little bit of it. I, did, I shouldn't have done all that, but... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Boom. I like how I can line... I like the grid lining in this game. Really makes it easy to know uh, how things work. One, three, and four. Two, one, two, three think this is how it should look. Let's see, one, two, three. One, two, three. So this should look pretty much the same. And it does. And that will line up with that there. That's good. And then the wall, the, you know, the doors can really go wherever they want to go. But uh, we want to make sure that these all line up and look identical. It's because it's going to make it just feel that much sharper and that much better. And we do not need shit. Do not need that. Yeah, it will look nicer with the walls in place. Um, but yeah, we'll have big towers on the sides. Everything will be very, very cool. And it does look like we have our first terraforming obstacles here. Um, we need to terraform out at least enough that the wood structures prevent people from getting in. Oof. Okay. This is actually going to be a problem. But it's okay. We're going to take it one step at a time here. One step at a time. That's going to be a big, big old project. So we got to get that done. But yeah, if we can get the realistically speaking if we can get the wooden outline done we can make it so they can only come in from one direction unless they have siege engines um 
And in any case, that that's fine, because we can always hide inside the base or hide in one of the corner towers. And then repair the damage after it's done. Alright, Summer's here. So that will be the big the big task right there, is uh, getting this all done. Hopefully we get some good resources out of it. Um, I do feel that it is time to start training the goats. We are at a point now where we can start training the goats. We have a baby goat now. Um, we can slaughter them, release them, or train them. And we can put the cat on vermin control. That is so cool. <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. Cool. All right. So I do have a couple people assigned to that. And I think we have... Let's make sure... Because you can fail and lose progress, I believe. Let us make sure that only the best of the best are doing this. And that's going to be Scott and Ellen. And we're going to completely remove the other two from this. But yeah, I want to get those goats trained. They'll be a huge asset. I should definitely put windows on this stuff too. Right? I'm going to make it look pretty. Wood window. Clay brick window. Okay. For some reason it did not want to do it here. That's okay. Maybe it already did it and I just... Yeah, it must have already did it. It just didn't take... What window? Even, yeah, even though... Oh, I can't... It's because there's a... Interesting. Oh, it's there. It's just locked inside. That's going to look so cool. Why are we not harvesting? Are these, like, not set to harvest? Did I accidentally delete? Oh, no. Was accidentally deleted the, uh... Deleted the farm for it. There we go. Perfect. All right, cat is on vermin control. Animals are hungry. Uh, we got this up, so we do need to make sure that we're producing animal feed. I'm going to do 10. I think I'm going to do 10 meals as well. But yeah, we'll just keep working on getting the defenses up. Cancel this. We want to conserve how much wood we're cutting down for all of this. And I'm going to let them keep going over here. There's a lot of good iron and stone to be had. Very good. Making lots of good progress. It is going to take a considerable amount of time. Um, and I believe we have more research. So rug making, fermenting, preservation of food. We can build shelves in a smokehouse with clay. That's the direction I think we should go. Uh, cooking, armor, infirmary bed, furniture, which is bed, terraforming, which is slope and soil. I think we should get that. And I think we should get furniture. So we got a lot of good stuff, but um, we're not quite per like doing well when it comes to how we should be doing certain things. And I'm taking a risk doing that, but that's okay. We're going to put the smokehouse over here. Play smokehouse. Cool, cool, cool. And wall shelves, shelves. So what I want to do is create... Potentially within... Why is it like that? Oh, it's because I have the room icons on. It's like losing my mind. Okay. Um, I think for the time being, we're going to place a couple shelves... For berry storage, it makes storage really easy early game to do this, so I'm going to do that. I might actually turn this into a library down here. Oh yeah, we have to build a library at some point, a uh, real one. Torches, I think that a torch would be unnecessary, but yeah, we don't want to give them too many new, new tasks. Wall torches are pretty cool. Um... We should probably build out, like, backgammon tables, though. 
Uh, leisure. Yeah, we should probably build that at the back cannon table. So they have some kind of leisure. We'll do that. This is looking great, though. We're gonna have a lot of good food coming in here soon. I'm pretty, pretty stoked about the progress that's being made. Mm. We're gonna need... I know this is counterintuitive, but we're going to need a door so that we have access to all the wood outside. Eventually, we'll, this will all be, you know, inside, but we need to make sure we have access. But yeah, the enemy will try to break through that door. That's okay. All right, cool. Scott is making all the meal preps. We're doing fantastic work. Nice. And then we got digging going on over here. Like I said, we got to take all of this out. I guess what I should just focus on right now is getting the outline done, and then we can go work on the other stuff. You can see here, though, um, depending on how far we want to take this, and I think we want to take it to about right there, we're going to need to bust out um, soil. But soil is great. Soil has 200 hit points, same as wood. Soil has thermal insulation of 0.95, so soil is still better for underground storage, it looks like, from my perspective. Um, we need to make sure there's enough room for the stone that's going to be placed as well. But, uh, yeah, we'll need to we'll need to fill in this whole area with dirt, and that's great, because we have a lot of dirt that's going to be coming our way. This is the cool thing about the terraforming features in this game, is you can build things out however you please. Um, I think this right here is probably perfect. And then the drawbridge can go right there. So let's give it, let's give it one more line. And then yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be where we cut, cut it all. And then have a cool draw, drawbridge going across. And this is gonna be where we, we cut it. And then the stone will go parallel and all this will be full of water, hopefully. We, all goes right. I'm not really sure, actually, if, if it will f fill the whole thing. I might have to think. It will still work, but uh, we might actually have to... have an idea. I'm actually kind of thinking what I'm going to do is create an artificial lake kind of that's like this long by this so it will be raised here all the way up to this part and then it will be a, a giant waterfall coming off into the river so that way because we want to make sure uh, and i'll probably do that over here too i'll make a raised platform that way it'll be like a solid not only a moat but it will be a terraformed up wall with a moat inside of it and that's gonna look so cool so yeah, we'll 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 uh we'll use soil to to move it. We're gonna have a lot of soil, so that will be very easy to do. And that's gonna look dope. Yeah, that's I'm excited about that prospect. Dang! Look at all of that limestone. That's insane. And then we have a rock crusher somewhere, I think. Did we build it? Don't make some benches right there. Right, I think it is a Bhakti. I need to make the stone maker bench. But yeah, you can see we're gonna need a lot of storage. I'm gonna have her make shelves. We need to get food in these shelves. And then eventually we'll each have our own rooms. And it'll be glorious. There we go. And there we go. But you need a couple hundred. 
but we're going to need uh, potentially more storage here soon. So what you want to do with your people is make sure uh, all the armors are up. For your archers, you want to make sure that they're not wearing helmets because it lowers visibility. Um, you want to make sure they're wearing caps. So Eleanor is Mully, Scott's cap. These guys are all headgear, basically. But yeah, they'll wear a cap um, for the archers, and that will give them some heat protections. And it makes them look really snazzy. Look how sophisticated he looks with his top hat now. For his, uh... I don't know what the hell that is. It's a rag on his head, basically. It's not that fancy. Alright, cool. Alright. And this isn't necessary to do right now. I just kind of wanted to get uh, a little indent here to remind myself what I'm doing. I'll need to make sure this conforms to the uh, the cornering of the tower as well. So well, we can deal with that later. I'm just going to leave it as is right there. And uh, yeah, they, I mean, they got their work cut out for them. Oh, shit. I don't know if these will fall. I don't think they will. I might have to... Uh... I forgot you want to um, do this stuff kind of in order. Otherwise, you have to build supports to get up there again. Shit. Oh, nice. Another person. Mehanilda. Okay, I'm renaming her. Botany, awesome. Medicine, awesome. Marksman, awesome. Mining, awesome. Perfect. 27. Don't know her perks. We're gonna we're gonna say yes. We're gonna take a peek at her. Nice. She has wise and bloodlust. That's really cool, actually. This is probably one of the best recruits I've ever gotten. Yeah, this is great. We're gonna need to make a weapon bench for her. Um, I'm gonna just stick her straight into mining. And steward and hauling. We just we kinda just need her for that. I think our food supplies are good. Nice. Scott is training the goats. We've got so much good stuff going on right now. If we can get these goats trained to help haul stuff, that's gonna be a force multiplier. And unfortunately, I royally screwed up here, so do not make that mistake. We will need to have a platform to mine out from. I'll just do it out of... I guess, actually, that's really stupid to keep making too many mistakes, man. We're going to just use uh, the soil. Since we have so much dirt over here, we don't want to use our wood. That should be sufficient. Do this one at a time. Cool. Nice. Eleanor and Vok to your friends. That's great. Everyone's getting along. Perfect. Alright, so they're not going to do it until they're ripe. Alright, they're waiting for the perfect moment. Okay, cool. Everything's working as intended. Um, Alright, cool. Yeah, everything's great. Dirt pile, okay. Nice. Oh, wow, they were able to do it. Okay, maybe they're magical. Maybe I just... Okay, cool. I didn't mess up. Yay. But uh, we still need to... Still need to keep working on it. Like I said, we're just going to get it to the point we can get the, the wood wall out. And then we'll worry about fine-tuning everything later. But we'll dig the moat out. And that will take some time. I figure, though, once we get everybody doing it... Um, and I'm probably going to do that behind the scenes. Once I get to that point. Once I get the uh, outline done, like, once I'm... And I get, like, the basic defenses, and I'm not doing any more, like, real gameplay. I'm probably just going to do all that digging off off uh, the record. But if there are any fights, I'll, sh I'll record the fights for people. And maybe I'll take... Um, 
maybe I'll do some video on the terraforming and do like a 30 second time lapse of what I did so you can kind of see everything but that'll probably be the easiest way to show that otherwise it would take like two weeks to show that ep all the episodes of that and I can just do it in a day or so but uh we're doing pretty well everybody is running around why do they take such th they took such a long path All right, I feel like I want to make this a little bit easier on myself, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some ramps to get up into these areas. Settlers are exhausted. Settlers are becoming annoyed. Oh shit! I didn't get a bed for her. Yeah, we're um. Hmm. I mean, like I know I can have two story. So what I could do is actually put a staircase here to a balcony um, where I could put more houses. So if I wanted to do additional housing, I could uh, do this and then do a balcony like so. And then I would have sweet little spot and I should probably do that on the other side too let's just I'm just oopsie daisy yeah I'm just gonna do that now so that I have it all pre-formatted that way we can stack the housing I don't technically need this to do it so it just does look a little nicer I'm not sure it blocks the door so I actually don't like that I um, yeah, will do it that way very cool yeah that that way we uh, and that's that's kind of funny how that worked out having the middle row like that, now I could do staircases for second stories without having to make things look too wonky. Um, I do think, though, one thing that would look kind of cool is fencing. Uh, the wicker fence. I mean, we could do limestone, but yeah, I could do... I'm thinking I could do a fence along the rail. I don't know if that will actually work. Because it needs to hug... Yeah, it won't work, unfortunately. I'd have to have two tiles for it to work right. It doesn't hug the rail, so it doesn't look right either. That's unfortunate. But yeah, we're making great progress. Nice, nice. Okay, so looks like we'll probably need to clear that row as well. Lots of dirt, lots of... Wow, so much limestone. We'll probably be able to build a castle with all that limestone. Perfection. The trees are starting to grow in pretty well. Not enough beds, research available, food reserves are low. Right, right, right. We're just going to use sleeping spots until our rooms are up. Alright, and the research we're going to be doing... Defensive structures? No, we're not there. Wooden weaponry for sure, so we can make more bows. Alright, wood workbench. We're unfortunately going to have to put these guys outside. It's just the way it is. So, make bows, make wood products there. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching.